Here are 5 ways to add blur effects into CapCut using your smartphone. Let's start by applying a simple blur to a video. With a video already imported into CapCut, go to the timeline and tap to select the video. In the bottom menu, tap on effects, then video effects. Search for the blur effect using the search bar and tap it once to apply it to your video. Then tap it second time to adjust the blur intensity. So to make your video less visible, increase the blur amount closer to 100. For a subtle blur, decrease it closer to zero. We'll use this technique for the following effects. And once satisfied, tap cancel on the right, then tap the check mark to return to the timeline. Finally, drag the effect on both sides to cover the entire video. Next, let's say you want the blur to affect only the background while keeping the subject in focus. For this, make sure nothing is selected in the timeline, then tap on overlay and add overlay. Now add the same video again and move it exactly under the first one. Then use two fingers on the video to expand its size so it matches the first video. Next, in the bottom menu, tap on Remove VG and then Auto Removal. Finally, hit the check mark on the right. Now we have the cinematic look as if we used an expensive camera. Next, let's say you want to blur only the face of the subject. The first step is to blur the entire video as we did in step 1. Next, we need to overlay the same video as we did in step 2. But this time, we're going to use the mask tool which you can find in the bottom menu. Then tap on the circle mask tool to add it to your clip. Now in the bottom left, tap on invert so the blur appears inside the circle. Use the arrows on top and slide to adjust the size and shape of the circle, then place it precisely over the subject face. Finally, tap the check mark to confirm. Now due to the subject's head movement, there are moments when the blur doesn't fully cover the face. So be sure to watch until the end because I'll show you how to fix this. And in order to better see how this works, I've imported the short car video where we'll blur the license plate. First, let's blur the entire video. Next, let's overlay the same video. Last, we're going to use the mask tool again, but this time instead of the circle mask, we will tap on the rectangle tool. Then we invert the mask so the blur appears inside the rectangle. Now using the arrows, Resize and place it over the license plate. Now let's make it track the movement of the car. But before that, make sure you are subscribed to this channel for more awesome CapCut tutorials. So to make the blur track the car's movement, we need to keyframe these movements. Start by ensuring you're at the beginning of your video, then tap the keyframes icon in the middle right of the editor. Then move the video forward a couple of frames. Now all we need to do is to adjust the mask. So make sure that the second video is selected, tap on mask and move it to cover the plate. CapCut will automatically keyframe this movement. Then repeat this process several times, adding as many keyframes as necessary to track the entire movement. Simply select part of the video, then tap the mask button, move your mask and your set. That's essentially how you can track the blur using CapCut. So now you know 5 ways to add blur effects to your videos using the CapCut app on your phone. And if you found value in this video tutorial, hit that subscribe button for more video tutorials like this. Ciao!